all right guys so yep it's ranting time but that's nothing new for this fucking channel i'll tell you what but when you got fucking morons that don't know how to do goddamn thing in life you know what are you gonna do so but yeah somebody driving like a jackass but whatever I was driving like a jackass too because I got pissed off. So, um, so what happened today? Well, I got a, I got a nice little phone call from my grandma, uh, saying that her, uh, saying that her mailbox got fucking ran over, which is kind of hard to do given the location that it's in. Uh, well, then it, it didn't get exactly get ran over. So, um, but yeah, so, but yeah, so they ran over, they kind of, I don't know who, um, well, we know who, who kind of did it because luckily on my house, I have cameras. So, it, uh, yeah, so I kind of, we were able to kind of figure out who did it, but we don't really need to know anyway, because, uh, you know, the mail people, yeah, this is, this, it's mail related. They know who's on route for what day. They, they, you know, they just know. And if they don't, well, they should start fucking knowing, because, you know. <clears throat> so, but what are you going to do? So, but yeah, I don't know if, if they... I can't see them backing into it, like, with their back end, because you don't really need to do that. I think what happened was that they, when whoever was putting mail in the mailbox, they put the car into reverse, and then they turned the wheel to the right, you know, to back out like they normally would. Well, I think they got a little, they went too soon on, on the steering. So, and then they ran it over they pushed it down into the ground they didn't total it there but it's still it's carelessness this isn't the first time we've had problems with you know the mail but <clears throat> um what really pissed me off was the fact that they they ran it over they put the mail in the mailbox they ran it over and then they fleed so basically it's like a hit and run but you know what are you gonna do so uh, but it's not the first time. I know, uh, I think it was either last week or the week before. I can't remember what my grandma said, but um, somebody, I don't know, they went to grab the hand or the, 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 you know, the door on the mailbox to pull it open. And I guess, they, you know, they got a little rough or something and it, it flew off, landed on the ground and they just left it. And to be honest with you, that's kind of disrespectful as well. I mean, if you're going to get rough with, you know, with stuff, then just don't show up. If you're having a bad day, then just don't show up. Don't take it out on fucking people's mailboxes or anything for that fucking matter. I've had enough of this fucking uh, horse shit. You know, it's just like there's no... I don't know, ever since the mailman that used to deliver our mail... Uh, he did it for a lot of years. Um, a lot of years. He did it. And, well, he retired now. And, well, I think he retired a couple of years ago even. But ever since he retired, they've been hiring nothing but fucking morons. And, and, I, and like I said, I had even called uh, a couple of months ago. Somewhere around in there. Um, because they kept, because somebody, um, yeah, somebody kept putting my grandma's mail in my mailbox and it's not my responsibility to go give my grandma her mail when she has a mailbox there and, you know, you got to go down there anyway, you know, so it's just. I don't know. So I, I called and, and I said, well, what, what the hell's up with this? You know, and his first words out of his mouth was just that, oh, well, we, hi we, 
hired a new driver and yada 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 and, and you know horseshit. Okay, if you hired a new person to drive, you're supposed to be training them. So that means that there's supposed to be somebody else in the car with them, you know, that has years of experience of delivering the mail. And they were doing that with a couple of people, but they long since disappeared. So I guess they're, they weren't cut out from the mail or they're doing a different route or something. I don't know. But they had a pretty much a rough idea who's delivering our mail for now. There's at least maybe three different people. Um, one is supposed to be a woman, and she looks like she's only in her, in her damn 20s. Then there's like an older guy. He's probably in his 40s. Uh, and then there's a younger kid. I Maybe he's in his 20s, but he's a, it's a guy. Um, but the young guy only does Saturdays. He doesn't do the weekdays unless they are just... Unless they're just backed up or something, I don't know. But usually he only does the Saturdays. And then you have the other two that do the weekdays. So there's always, you know, I guess somebody there or whatever. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, I just, it, it kind of just ever since, you know, our old mailman, you know, retired. It's just, things have just gone downhill. And, <clears throat> you know... But to just basically damage our mailbox twice, or the mailbox twice at the farm, and not to say anything is a huge problem. Now, they could have left a letter in the mailbox. Um, they could have went to the door. They could have left a letter on the door. They could have, when they got back to the, the post office, you know, the building, they could have told the manager, and the manager could have sent out a letter or even personally called himself or whatever. But they don't do that. They don't take responsibility for their actions. And that's what's frustrating. It's, it's you know, I mean, it's just ridiculous. Because if we would have had the, the old guy and he damaged it, he would have probably fixed it for free. And said, nope, it was my fault. I'm going to deal with it. You know, you just do what you got to do. That was the only guy that ever, you know, had respect for other people's shit. These people have no respect. You know, and, and we're getting into a day and, day and age where it's just, fuck you, I want your money, and that's it. I don't care how you get your mail. I don't care how you get your packages. I don't care about you. I just want my paycheck. It's only about the fucking moolah in, in this day and age. And I, and I get it because there's jobs don't pay like, like, like they should or, you know, it's harder to live nowadays because everything's more expensive. But you don't take your anger out on other people's shit. Go to a fucking gym then and go punch a punching bag. Or, you know, or go to go to karate school or whatever and kick somebody there then. At least there you're, yeah, you're only, you're venting, but, you know, you're also maybe learning some things as well. But taking it out on somebody's mailbox is not the option, it's not, it's not the right thing to do. So, I put my gaming camera there. I had one at the farm anyway that was watching another area of the farm. Um, and... I moved it over to her mailbox because I don't trust anybody anymore. I shouldn't have had, had to have done that. But given the fact that nobody gives a fuck or they're fucking stupid or, or they're drunk or something, I have no clue what was going on in that person's mind that you just run over a mailbox and not give a shit. So, but, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's just... It's just it's just, it's mind-fucking-blowing. So I think going into the future, I don't want to have to do it. It's probably not going to be this year. It'll probably be over the winter months of next winter. Um, once I get, you know, these things figured out, I'm going to buy surveillance equipment, just like what I have in, on my house. I'm going to buy two of them. And I'm going to put them on both of those houses. One at the farm, or pfft, one at the old house that we, we used to live in, because it still has power. Believe it or not, it just yeah, nobody lives in it, but we use it mostly in the summertime. And sometimes we're running to 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock or even midnight, sometimes doing stuff and we need lights. So then we can run the lights in the house. And then kind of backed into my grandma used it for when she had chickens. And she would hatch them herself while she had her little, you know, little oven thing, whatever you fucking call it, that you would put the eggs in. 
she had it in the house for you know for a while so because nobody was living in it nobody's going to live in it because it's not you know it's not safe it's not up to date and it, everything's just wore out it's you know it's it's even older than my house so nothing is worth salvaging in that house but um well you could salvage the water heater and the furnace and the fridge that's a, that's it everything else is, is done so so i think that's what we're going to do i think going into the future because i just got a feeling that more shit's going to happen um <clears throat> i remember a few years ago um there had to have been some kids or something i don't know where these kids were from if they were from around here or if maybe they're honest you know they were outsiders you know just they're not from around here right so but they were drunk and they they ran they didn't run it over they smashed the neighbor's mailbox um that lived next to us in the blue house their mailbox got destroyed um but we didn't put it together right away because we didn't use the pontiac for a few days but then we noticed that well me and my grandma were going in there because that's where we used to have our feed you know for the chickens i went in there one day and it just happened to something shiny on the ground caught my eye so i looked down on the ground there's a fucking mirror laying on the on the ground it's all smashed the, the whole thing is destroyed so the whole passenger side mirror was damaged and we we were at least 95 percent sure it was those kids that smashed the mailbox but they deny well they don't deny it they don't remember because they were drunk the only way that they got caught from smashing the mailbox was because one of them dropped their cell phone that's how the cops were able to figure out who did it so but then they were questioned again about the car if they happened to wander over there and maybe they smashed the the, the mirror off and they said that they they don't recall well yeah if you're drunk you're not going to remember they probably don't even remember smashing the mailbox um so you know of course well we had to take the hit because there was there was no real evidence to prove that they smashed the mirror on the car now they might not have smashed it like with their hands or anything what probably happened is that they were so stumbling drunk that maybe one of them kind of fell on it you know they fell and they just happened to catch the mirror with their shoulder or whatever you know and they ripped it off so um but that's you know, that's been long since fixed you know it's got a new mirror and everything on it now but but then even years before that back when i was younger we were living at the farm in that house when it was livable somewhat um there was somebody again that was drunk out of their fucking mind because they didn't even know how to drive they ran over our mailbox and they completely flattened it they they drove into our driveway they drove way into our driveway at the farm um and you could hear that they were trying to shift gears i guess they must have had a you know a manual type transmission it wasn't wasn't an automatic but they were trying to shift gears like they were trying to go into reverse well i don't know if they were even clutching or anything because they could just hear the the fucking gears grinding and then after they they finally figured it out they went down the road to my grandma's driveway and turned around over there again it, it, it there was it just it made no sense to what they're doing but you know when you're drunk you don't make sense so but yeah so we've yeah <laughs> so yeah we've and actually that mailbox right there was our replacement at the farm and obviously i took it out because you know one day we're going to need it and yeah so um i think it was my sister's ex ex-boyfriend whatever he bought that for us and that's actually a pretty nice mailbox i like that i like that wood thing the white mailbox well you can get them anywhere but the post is what i kind of like the most i like that wooden style um it's not really code anymore because of where we live they more or less want you to have a breakaway mailbox so if the snowplow smoked it well then it would it would swing out of the way instead of being destroyed 
they were supposed to replace mine, but they never did. But that's because I took the flags out because it took them a year to even put the mailbox in. And there was weeds growing up along my mailbox and I couldn't mow it. I couldn't trim it. So I got frustrated and just yanked the fucking things out. <clears throat> I guess that's why they, they didn't replace it because the flags weren't there. And they probably figured that I didn't want it swapped out. So they never did it. Well, the mailbox that's in there now, you know, here is original to when the girl lived here, the old woman. So that's her mailbox. But it was still fully functional and working fine. So I never, I never put this one in. Um, but I think, I think the way it is now that if they should damage your mailbox, even today, I don't think they can be held responsible because you are supposed to have what's up the code. And I don't have that, so if they if they smoke my mailbox, then it's on me. It's not on them. So, but I don't know. Given how my yard is shaped, I don't know if they would ever hit my mail, my mailbox because it's the mailbox is technically further in. It doesn't look like it, but it kind of is given to how they plow. So I don't know. Their chances of hitting it hitting it are probably pretty slim, unless they're drunk. But I don't I don't think they're going to. They're going to be drinking. So, so yeah, the chances of them hitting it are pretty slim. But um, last year, or just before the snow fell, I put uh, red reflective tape on it. Uh, just so it kind of, you know, so people would know that, hey, it's here, you know. So decrease the chances of anybody smoking it. Because they can't blame, they can't claim that, oh, I didn't see it. Well, you bullshit, because it's got reflective tape on it. So... Um, yeah, so, but I don't know, this, the one at the, at the, at the farm, you know, for running over my grandma's mailbox, it was, it was just, it was questionable, because there, there would have been no reason for them to drive way into the driveway and then back out, because how, for how wide her driveway is, you could have just pulled a UE and the whole thing, and would have been perfectly fine, but that's also against their rules, now, I don't know if their rules are still the same now as if they were just before the other guy retired because he was telling me about all these new rules that they have now where, um, well, no, it, well, it would be code or it, it, it would be part of the rules. The rules were that they can't pull into somebody's driveway like hers and then back out because apparently they're being watched there's like a GPS thing, I guess, in their cars, and, and they're tracking your motions. And I guess if you back up, they ping you for that or whatever. I don't know. It's it's a negative thing, I guess, towards them. So they were telling my grandma, or when the old guy was doing it, the other guy, if if he could use her driveway to make a full U-turn, because apparently they get docked for reversing. And my grandma said, sure, you know, go ahead and do that. But they would, but they never did. And even to this day, they're not doing it. It's just, I, to me, that would not make any sense. Because really, her driveway is so, like, long, you know. Like, it ain't long, long, but it's long. To where, if you pulled up, made a big U-turn to get back onto the road, that amount of time would take longer than just simply backing out and just going back on the road. It's, it's quicker to back out than it would be to you know, make a big old fat U-turn. But I guess it's... That was supposed to be part of the rules is that you could only go forward. You never could back up unless you were in a sticky situation and you had to. But they don't follow through with that. Not that I care. It, it doesn't bother me how they do it. But, you know, it just kind of is what it is. But the thing that I just disagree with, because I think it's stupid, um... And when the old mailman did it, he did it, and he hadn't had no problems with it. When you order packages and they don't fit in your mailbox, they're forced to bring it to your doorstep. Um, well, see, when the old guy did it, he would bring everything to the door. He would bring my, my packages and my mail. But the, the rules, part of their rules, rule system is, is that you can only bring packages to the door. You can't bring the mail to the door. So you have to get out of the car bring the package to my garage or my doorstep, whatever, but then put my mailbox or put the mail in my mailbox. To me, that made no sense. It's just bring it all. You know, then it saves you bullshit. 
Because you got to get out anyway and walk, you know, a quarter of a mile up my driveway just to get to my doorstep. So you might as well just bring everything. So he was all the bullshit. But that's what the old guy did. You know, the, the old mailman, is he would, if he had to come to my doorstep, he'd bring everything. So that's what he did. But then since he retired, well, now they don't do that because he's, these people here, they actually follow the rules, which is mind-blowing. I wouldn't fucking follow them. It's like, fuck it. If I got to come to your door, I might as well just bring you everything, you know. It's just, that's how I would do it. But, yeah, but the reasons why they don't want to do it is because it's a risk of the mail blowing away. Compared to the package, it wouldn't blow away. So I get it from that point of view. But for me, you have to bring the package in my garage. I don't have really a front... I mean, I do have a front step, but it's a very small step, and it's actually wired off, so nobody can even go up it. Um, but they usually always just bring my packages to the garage. And I have a table set up in there. You know, usually the cats will sit on it and sleep on it. But that's where they've bring my packages or or the old guy he would he would bring it right to the to the door and the other the other younger guy he does that he brings it to my doorstep the woman um I don't know, maybe it depends you know on packages or whatever but she's the one that delivered my antenna that i had ordered and she just went up to the to the garage door like Kind of here, you know, and then she would lay it, you know, here in the corner. So, and I get that's just, you know, whatever, but um, I wasn't happy about my, about my package being severely damaged. My antenna was damaged. Um, but I talked to the guy that sold me the antenna, and he says, oh, well, if you just straighten it back out, you can bend the... I mean, I knew that you could bend the steel whips back in the shape, but... You know, I didn't know if it would affect the antenna. I still don't know if the antenna is going to work right after being dented, you know, or being bent. But he says that as long as you bend it all back to shape, it should be perfectly fine. Well, I don't know. But I straightened it back the best I could, and I guess if it doesn't perform to my liking, then I guess I'm getting another one. But it got damaged somehow during shipping. I don't know if it's the mail that did it or... Well, yeah, it's the mail. Because that's how, that's how it was being delivered. <clears throat> from where it was being shipped. It was, you know, from the place that I bought it from to my mailing place, usually that comes on like a big semi-truck or something, right? So it could have gotten damaged anywhere along that way or it could have gotten damaged when it was delivered at the mail system and then on the way here it could have gotten damaged. Again, there's no real proof of that. So, but it doesn't really matter. It's, it's just the fact that they don't give a shit about your packages. They get damaged. You know, and then I have, a, you know, a piss poor item that probably may or may not work right now. I don't know. So, it's kind of frustrating. <clears throat> but, I don't know. I'm just, uh, I'm just getting so damn sick and tired of it. You know, it's just like, if you're not going to respect our stuff or, you know, whatever. I don't fucking care. It's just, man up. Man up to your fuck up, you know. So, and I'm sure there's going to be some people around here that are going to hate on me. They're going to either come past my house, do something stupid, or leave a stupid comment. Well, go fuck yourself. I don't want to hear it. You know that you know that I'm right, and I have every right to bitch and complain. If you're going to do some shitty service, you're going to get it. Get over it. That's that's reality. I'm sick of that, too. Everybody acts like little fucking kids around here. It's like, grow up. I bet you if your package came damaged... You know, or your mailbox got personally ran over. I think you'd be ranting too. You'd be fucking wanting justice for what happened. You're just not going to, oh dear, uh, well, I'll just go get the other mailbox I got stashed. I love that mailbox. R.I.P. mailbox. No, you'd be running out there with your fucking shotgun flinging rounds down the damn road at the, at the mail person that ran over your mailbox. You know. And you'd, you'd want justice. You would want somebody to pay for that. Because that's not, that's not your fuck up. You know, that's whoever ran over your mailbox or damaged your packages. That's their fuck up. And they're the ones that, and they should be held responsible for what they do. So, you know, you, you can see it on YouTube. You know, you see other videos. Um, was it like that FedEx guy or whatever the fuck it was? Um, that one person ordered like a 70 inch 
TV or whatever the hell it was and had it shipped to his house. Um, I guess instead of opening the gate or whatever to put the TV on, on inside the gate or on the step or whatever, he just threw the whole fucking thing right over the gate. Like, holy shit. If that happened to me, I'd be shooting bullets all over the place. And I think everybody around here, too, would be doing, doing the same goddamn thing. You're just not going to be like, oh, whatever. You're going to be enraged. You're going to be pissed off. And it's only normal to be pissed off. You know, I mean, especially if you paid a thousand fucking dollars for a TV or more. Yeah. So, you're going to be pissed off and ratting like I am. You know. It's just, it's crazy. You know, I don't know what, like I said, I don't know what this person was going through or what was on. If, if he or she, whoever, probably he, I don't know. Um, I don't know if they were just not focusing uh, maybe they had other stuff on their mind or something, or maybe something bad happened in the family. Maybe they lost a family member or something. I don't know. But if you're not on your A game, then you probably shouldn't be delivering mail. You know, I mean, that's the way it would be for me. If I lost a family member and they told me to go to work the very next day, I'm going to tell you to go fuck yourself. You know, because you're not going to be at the top of your game. You're going to be, you know, thinking about that, you know, your family member. Or whatever. Or your fucking cat died for all the hell I know. You're going to be upset. And you're going to be upset for a few days. And you're not you're not going to be at the top of your game. So I don't know if this person was just having a bad day. Or had something on, on their mind. Or they were drunk. But I highly doubt they were drunk. But uh, I mean I don't know. But for you to run over a mailbox... What were you thinking? That's what I want to know. You know, it's just, it's crazy. Thank God I have fucking cameras on my house, because I tell you what, if somebody ran over my fucking mailbox, I'd be fucking shooting bullets and hollering and calling the cops and fucking shooting more bullets. Well, on second thought, I wouldn't even be calling the cops. Fuck them. I am my own damn cop. And I just start sending bullets down the damn road. I don't fucking care. You damage my properties, I'm going to damage your property. You know, fuck you. So, you know, it's just, it is what it is. You know, but to run over somebody's mailbox and not have the goddamn balls to man up or woman up, whatever the hell you were, to even just leaving a simple letter in the mailbox, you know, saying, I'm sorry, you know, whatever. Like, it would have been nice, you know, at least you, but I guess they're just, it's more or less of a hit and run kind of thing. Just flee like hell, so... But like I said, that's the second time that mailbox has been damaged. The first time they, they ripped the fucking door off it. Now, mind you, the mailbox is old. It's That was, I think, what my great-grandparents put in. Um, well, they probably had quite a few over the years. But this is the mailbox they put in, I suppose, years you know before they died, right? So it's been in there a long, long fucking time. And we had a twin to that when we lived at the other house at the farm. So we both had the exact same mailbox. Well, ours got crushed by a drunk driver, hence why we had this one now. And then my grandma's is getting fucked up. So, I don't know. It's just, it's mind-blowing. But, I don't know. But, but there's been such a... I don't know. It's just, I don't know. These poor mailboxes, man, they're just getting molested left and right. It's unbelievable. It's only a matter of time until somebody fucking smokes mine, too. But, I mean, I got reflective tape on mine, so you can't sit there and say you didn't see it because it's got reflective tape on it. For fuck's sake, if I got to put a strobe light on it, I'll do that then. You know, it's like, seriously. But, given how my mailbox is kind of... My mailbox is not right on the road, though. You know, compared to everybody else. My, my mailbox is kind of in... So, you, so when you bring my mail, you have to kind of bob in a little bit and then put my mailbox, put my mail in the mailbox and then bob back out. Everybody else, you know, they have actually have ditches and stuff. I don't, I don't have a ditch in my yard. So everything to me was able to be brought in more to, compared to everybody else. They had to have theirs right on the bitter edge of the road. Hence why they have to have those fucking special mailboxes. But given that mine's in... Even though I, I was supposed to still supposed to have one, but I just never got one. But 
I don't know. I don't know if they'd ever hit it. But they, they might, because they may not be paying attention. But you're supposed to be at the top of your A game. You're not supposed to be half asleep or drunk or on drugs or anything stupid like that. Because you are a professional and you're supposed to be doing your job. So, you know, but... I don't know, out of all the years I've lived here, they've never hit my mailbox. I guess they've hit in a few others here in town, but hence why they've now got these mailboxes. But I don't know, I've never had that issue. Like I said, mine's kind of recessed in a little bit, so I don't think that'll ever be an issue, but whatever. It doesn't, doesn't bother me. So, But what does bother me is that they ran over my grandma's mailbox and they, they didn't fucking man up and apologize. And they didn't really even offer to replace it either. They just kind of said, well, you're, fuck you. So, um, but, I don't know. So, for right now, I got my game camera up there. It's just, that's the way it's going to fucking be. I don't, I'm not a big fan of that gaming camera. Um, it's my second one, because the first one was kind of, kind of fucked up, but, um, <clears throat> This one doesn't have a doesn't have a wide lens on it, so you're really up when you are like from where I'm standing to this wall right here on the camera. It's a lot. It looks like it's a lot closer because it's not a wide lens. It's a like a narrow lens. But then if you let's say put it up on a tree and you well, let's say if we put it here in the corner of the shot, like right here, and then. Because the camera's not going to focus because it's a piece of shit. There. So if you put it right here, let's say, okay, and you wanted to look at the road, okay, well then, by the time you'd got, the lens would get to the road, it would look all right, you know. So it's just, whenever you're up close to something, it's too, it's too zoomed in, okay. So I'm trying to figure out why my color here is all fucked up now. Okay, fuck you. Hello. Yeah. There's the white ghost. Oh, shit. Yeah. We're really getting into it now. Holy crap. I don't know. My camera's all fucked up again, but whatever. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, I don't know. This fucking camera. God. Auto focus bullshit in my ass. But yeah, so I guess that's pretty much it. Um, it's just a little rant. Just to say that I'm pissed off and they didn't man up and didn't fix, fix the mailbox. They should have offered to replace it, you know, or at least give her a new one. You know, replaced it. Of course, not not that you would ever get one in the ground now, but we could put it in in spring. At least this new box, you know, we could limp it on for easily for the rest of the year. I mean, it's my uncle managed to get it all straightened back out again, but it's just ridiculous. It's just, I mean, it happens all the time. People's mailboxes get ran over or destroyed somehow, but I mean, usually that's done either by the state plows, you know, the snow plow trucks, or drunk drivers or vandalism by, you know, kids wanting to smash them with the bat or shit, you know, but I just can't say I've ever seen one ran over by a male person. That's a new one to me. So, but it's, yeah, it's, it's a new one to me. I mean, it's not new to see a mailbox get ran over, but it's new to hear that it was a male person that did it. I've heard plenty of stories of the mailbox being ran over by kids and drunk drivers and smashed with baseball baseball bats, whatever. I hear that shit all the time, but not from a male person. That's that's a new one to me. But they're not to man up and say anything. It's it's kind of you know, so it shows your character. If you were a true American and you truly cared and you truly felt you know bad for what you did, you would be saying something. You know, so, and if you can't get a hold of my grandma or my uncle, well, then you know where I fucking live. I got the same last name as her, so say something to me. Call me. You leave me a, you know, put, put, a, put a letter in my mailbox then. You can put it and leave it in hers too. But if you want to say something in person, come say it to me then. But, you know, again, there's nobody mans up to nothing around here. This is why I hate everybody here. Even people that, that do shit on my, on my land, they just, they never man up, you know. So, they sit there and they talk shit on the internet, but then when I, when I call them out and I tell them to come duke it out in my driveway, they don't ever show up. So, but, because it's, 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 it shows their character. So, I don't know, but whatever. It's just 
bullshit at this point. So, but yeah, to run over her mailbox and not to say anything is, is it's horse shit. So, it's garbage and it's disrespectful and, and it shows your, it just shows your, it just shows your character. At least man up and apologize, you know. So, and offer to fix it. But, I don't know, maybe they thought if they tried to fix it, maybe they would do more damage. Well, then you just can just offer to re get her get her a new one. You know, there's many ways around it. You know. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you guys, but it's definitely a, it's definitely a shit show. So, but I don't know. I guess you guys leave your, your two senses, and I guess... Uh, if you got any mailbox stories, leave it down in the comment section. I'd love to hear it, you know. So leave a comment down there. Let me know if your mailbox ever got ran over by who and what and whatever, you want, whatever you're willing to share, share it. Keep your personal information out of it, of course, you know, like your real name and stuff, unless you're okay with that. But, um, you know, just keep personal stuff out of it if you don't want to share that. But just, you know, share your story. Of your mailbox being ran over. If you have one. If you don't, well. Then I guess just leave an ordinary comment. Or just don't leave anything. It's up to you. I just make these videos. It's up to you guys to say something. So. To leave comments. <laughs> so. Alright guys. I guess I'm taking off. I want to go and. Do some things and. Yeah. Call it a day. So. <clears throat> but Yeah. So, oh yeah, and I also uh, went and checked up on the cow today. There'll be a short video on that. Um, I was able to get a little bit closer to her, but I think that's because she was pinned in, in between hay and cows. So she kind of had nowhere to go. But I, I, I think I was probably about, I didn't get that part on camera, but I think I was about five feet from her. Doesn't, it sounds like a lot, but I don't know. It was, it's been closer than normal, but... <clears throat> But then once the, the other cabs moved out of the way, well, then she took off. So she's still not quite used to me. She hasn't seen me much in the last month or so, but that's because it's just been super cold out, and I didn't want to be out. Once we start getting warmer weather, like where it's in the high 20s, 30s, and higher, then I'm probably going to you know, come out more often, spend more time with her, and try to get her tamed up. So, But, yeah, other than that... Uh, Take it slowly at a time, one day at a time. So, just move nice and slow. <laughs> so, all right, guys, I'm taking off. So, I guess I uh, have a good day and stuff and stuff. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Take her easy.